Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here, bringing you guys an unboxing video. Uh, excited to show you guys these. I'm actually excited to see these in person because I have not seen them yet. And uh, check back later today. I'll have my Collective Kicks weekly recap uh, video for you guys as well. So double un double upload, not double unboxing, double upload today. And uh, I don't know, man. I'm just excited to, to check these out and see what we got. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I just not a thousand percent. Yep, this is what it is. I thought it was dope. Um, so let's see here. I'll pull this out and we'll get into this here. So it's another non Nike unboxing kind of exciting um, Got a, another one from bait and I actually ended up winning the raffle for this thing If you guys don't know how this raffle thing works shout out to my collective kicks writing team because um, they kind of post things on their uh, on Mother grabbers on my site on our site our collective site. I, I am trying to do this in one video. I'm not going to edit this out. This is too great. Um, anyway, they post they post articles and some of them on um, Saucony and some of them are from Bait. And uh, and basically they posted this. And this is a sticker too, which is pretty dope. Uh, so they posted this and uh, I'm excited that they did because they, they let me know of the raffle process for some of these sneakers that I'm not able to get on this West Coast. So this sneaker is an example of that. Um, it's one that really didn't release out here. It was only an East Coast thing, uh, but I saw it and I really kind of liked them and I wanted my chance to get them. So I entered the raffle online. Um, follow the website, collectivekicks.com collective if you guys don't. And when you see these um, these kind of things happen from bait and, and whatnot, um, it works out really, really well. And uh, I I know there's a couple different people. One of the writers, the G Money, uh, got his pair already. And uh, I'm really excited to see these actually in person. So... Uh, let's go ahead and stop talking and pull these out, man. These look pretty good in person, man. So these are the, if you guys didn't know, this is the Cruel World. And I'll show you guys this up close here. If I can show it up close. If it does want to play. So it's a Bait Saucony Vegan Shadow Original uh, Cruel World 2. And if you guys didn't know what the Cruel World thing is that they do... Um, I'm not an expert expert about it. I'll put some information in the description uh, but I believe that these are a um, a Charity shoe and they actually make some of the proceeds from these shoes go towards uh, Like certain charities and I don't remember in particular which charity these ones benefit But I'll again, I'll link it in the description and you guys can see uh, all of that But these things look crazy man like they look better in person than I thought they would I mean even from I think I watched uh, the G Money's unboxing of these, and and I was like, well, they look okay, but in person they look a lot better. I mean, the materials are crazy. This looks like, like, just a wild looking, um, like, burlap sack almost, but it looks like higher quality, obviously. And then there's like this kind of uh, suede material, but it's I don't know if it's even suede. I'm not really sure. It said vegan, um, so I'm not sure if it's actually. I'm pretty sure it's not made from actual animals. Um, I don't know. I'm not the expert guys, so I don't know much about that stuff So well, I'm finding out as, as we go, but I did see the shoe call me hype beast if you will or whatever it might be I did see the shoe and I really liked it and I liked the uh, the other pair that I already have of the I'm trying to focus right here the other pair of the Saucony's that I got um, recently the dirty martinis I love those shoes. I've worn them multiple times now already. They're just they're super comfortable and I really dig the look especially out here on the West Coast um, it's nice to be able to mix it up from my typical Nike and Jordan stuff. So these things look really nice though, man. Look at this um, kind of the mesh panel on the back. This is what sold me though, a smiley face on the on the back tab. I was like, yep, that's what I want. Uh, you can see that the, the soles look like it's like almost recycled materials with uh, kind of some chunks of uh, of white material in, in the middle of this red. And then uh, get a, a vibrant red here with cream and then a white midsole. And then a little bit of plastic stuff right back here. But let's uh, look in the middle of these things a little bit more. Because there is some thing on the tongue that I'm not really sure what it is. And there's some things on the insoles that I'm not sure what they are. Maybe I'll try to grab the other one. Leave that one here. I like that they have the lace swap though. I really do like the cream laces though. Because it's the same kind of burlap style laces as the side panels. Which I think is a really, really cool thing. Um, it says cruelty free on it. No skeleton. So I'm assuming it's a vegan shoe. Again, it's not suede. It's like a, a super buttery cloth material of some sort. Um, and then it says on the tongue, let's, I'm going to actually undo this a bit so I can read this because I want to actually see what this is all about if I can. 
and, and show you guys what it says too because it's hard to, to, to see so I'm gonna try to zoom in here for us and it says nonviolent constructions this bait um, Saucony original shadow shoe contains no animal products byproducts or derivatives bait Saucony there you go so it is, is a it's a vegetarian shoe uh, no suede here it's definitely like a cloth uh, but it's buttery and it's it's nice uh, material I really dig it and I do love these uh, cork insoles I think this is kind of a cool thing I'm gonna see if I can pull one out for you guys up oh, there we go it says cruelty free on the insole on the bottom and it's that cork material uh, something actually the Jordan 6 championship pack is doing as well with that cork material uh, on the insoles and then this one um, yeah it says it on the bottom of here too it's the same thing as it did on the tongue of the other one so it says it twice that's really cool that it has that anyway these uh, it's a charity shoe um, made from uh, vegan products call me a hippie I'm in Oregon this shoe belongs in Oregon uh, and uh, I'm excited that, that I was able to get these from the raffle so shout out to bait and shout out to my riders again for uh, covering uh, the stories here and there and and uh, I'm just excited to be able to, to expand out a little bit um, from the typical norm and I know if you guys don't like these shoes or you do like them or whatever it might be um, just the excitement of being able to get something fun and different and new is just I don't know it's fun man it's what uh, what keeps everything uh, with the sneaker thing alive for me and uh, I thoroughly enjoy it thank you guys for watching have a good rest of the day check back if you guys are interested in the collective kicks weekly recap it's like a 20 minute session where I talk about the entire week's worth of sneakers and um, yeah man look for a review video on Saturday of the five lab threes and uh, have a good one. We'll catch you guys later. Peace.